On December 17th, 2021, Ready or Not was released on Steam. It was developed and published by Void Interactive. There are 18 missions, and they're all pretty good, but in my opinion, Ends of the Earth is one of the best missions in the game. Three brothers, An, Andy Tran, Theo, Tom Tran, and Vin, Vinny Tran, are 3D printing and dealing illegal gun modifications to get their dad out of debt and to pay their mom's medical bills because she's dying of stage 4 lung cancer. Void Interactive did an amazing job at making this mission. The house is slowly decaying while bills pile up on the counter surrounded by trash bags and empty alcohol bottles sitting around the house, and the music in the background makes this mission even even more depressing. I know it's just a game, but while playing I felt bad for the family because the brothers just want to help their parents. It feels like real people with issues and not just some AI. Speaking of AI, your teammates are pretty decent. They'll move out of the way of your gun. They'll clear rooms pretty well. They'll look under beds and automatically cover hallways and open doors without the player telling them to. And they won't just stare at the wall like how they used to. They'll leave in secure evidence and restrain down suspects, which is really helpful, but when you're in a shootout and they decide to go in front of you to restrain a dead suspect, they'll end up getting themselves killed sometimes, and when you're clearing a room with them, they'll end up running off and start clearing rooms by themselves and just leave you to die. Also, Void, please bring back the option to restart the damn mission when you die. I'm tired of heading back to the headquarters, waiting, reselecting the mission I was just on, waiting more, just to restart the mission I fucked up. But yeah, Ready or Not is a pretty good game in my opinion, and I would recommend it if you're into tactical shooters. The missions are great, the OST is great, and the endless amount of mods on Nexus makes it so the game doesn't get boring. There are mods that add new guns, AI configuration mods, custom maps, mods to change your character's outfit, there are even voice mods that make it so you can have real police yells in the game, and there are even body cam mods. We now can see the extent of the damage to the company, but for Los Suenos the situation is still quite different. As Hip did, but he makes that for the city. Oh, okay, we're losing time out there. Let's move over to this breaking LSN storm update. The video that we're pulling up now is starting to roll in from across LS, and we can see just how torrential this downfall is. A quick recap on some fast The DLC adds three new guns, the Raider XP320, the 509, and the DM4 PDW. And there are three new missions, Dorms, Narcos, and Lawmaker. The DLC takes place after a Cat 5 hurricane, and man did Void put hella work into these maps. Even the police station was affected by the hurricane. The only problem I have is the maps are too big. The missions are great, but realistically a five-man team wouldn't be clearing out a giant-ass mansion. I really hope that they make some smaller maps like residential houses and stuff like that. But besides that, the DLC is pretty good in my opinion. The missions are great, the OST is great, and my favorite track from it is the Narcos OST. And I'm really happy Void put a lot of work into this DLC and didn't just shit out something to make some quick money. I would give Ready or Not an 8 out of 10. I would recommend it if you're into tactical shooters. And yeah, that's my thoughts on uh, Ready or Not. And uh, yeah, before I leave, I just want to mention that I know I haven't been posting in a while, to be honest. My uploads have been like, just, you know, I would go weeks without uploading and then start uploading again. Sorry about that. I've just been dealing with shit with school and soon I'm gonna graduate so uploads are definitely gonna slow down for a, quite a bit because I'm trying to get a job but uh yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you didn't then uh, shit like and subscribe if you guys like the video if you don't then don't go follow my Instagram the link is in the description same with my Twitch and TikTok and uh yeah peace guys